at the budget meeting held earlier this week, Council brought down its yearly plan for 2022-23. 957.5 million would be one of the biggest budgets this council has ever brought back to the community. More than $240 million of the budget is related to grants that have been given to council through state and federal agencies. Those grants are going towards infrastructure projects and in fact more than 80% of that budget will be invested in roads, renewal of water and wastewater areas, new pump stations, renewal of pump stations, renewal in and around the dam, the building of the new pipe from the dam to the Douglas Water Treatment Plant. 80% of that budget is going into that sort of infrastructure for our community. Now, in terms of the state budget, we were fortunate to get money for an extra, well over 130 beds at the Townsville Hospital, as well as funding for acute mental health. But for the community's point of view, the funding that has been promised for Lansdowne, an extra 26 million, means that the bulk infrastructure around water and roads will be delivered using funds from other levels of government. So the majority of work that we need to do as a council to bring forward stage one will be paid for by other levels of government and not by ratepayers. The other things we considered in the ordinary council meeting of this week was funding for Shakespeare Under the Stars and this year The Tempest is the play that they will be putting on. This event has been going for more than 30 years and has had 27 shows in our park. At the Ordinary Council meeting, we also discussed leases for sporting groups. One that was interesting was the fact that AFL Townsville has been disbanded. So in discussions with AFL Queensland, there are now new leasing arrangements. Hermit Park Tigers and the Curra Swans will each lease their own ovals as part of their organisation. When these sporting clubs come to council, we only ever charge them $1 to lease their fields and we provide exemptions and support around water and wastewater. We do as much as we can to ensure that sporting clubs do remain viable. And if anyone wants to see the council meeting in full, the minutes and the uh, recordings are available at council's website.